Well, I want to tell you a short story. One day, I was striving because of lack of content, quality content, and my feed doesn't settle that one place. So I'm roaming all around my room. My friend, who is sitting at the couch, getting relaxed by watching something. I went in front of him and I asked, "Hey, what are you watching?" He suspiciously looked at me and said, "Anime." After listening to that, my pupil dilated. and unnoticing me i had a smile in my face with that smile i went towards him to hug but i didn't do that because he may think me as a gay 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 yes okay well after hearing the word anime it reminds me of japan japan reminds me japanese people well most of the japanese women are slim and sexy <coughs> slim and healthy this is how i took the content from anime Okay, time for listening my rant. Now, let me jump into the topic quickly. Here is the top 6 reasons why Japanese people are slim and healthy. Number 1, chopsticks. Well, I'm not talking about eating chopsticks. I'm talking about eating with chopsticks. Well, it may be confusing for you that you may ask eating with chopsticks does add any nutrition value to the food? Well, I say no, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Why? Okay, you may ask why with frustration. Well, chopsticks make you to eat less and slower. Eating slow helps to avoid overeating because it takes twenty minutes for your bakuas brain to realize that you are overeating, and then sends a hormone to make you feel full. But this twenty minutes is more than enough to binge any food items without chopsticks. So, chopstick is one of the reasons why Japanese people are slim. Number two, food culture and food manners. If you see the Japanese dining table, it's completely filled with everything the human body needs. It is filled with macros and micros. I mean, it is filled with carbohydrate, protein, fat, fatty vegetables, and minerals. You should never judge the people while eating in Japan because they think it as disrespectful to the food. And snacking is also too low because. Eating on the go is strictly no in Japan. It is one of the reasons why people avoid snacking because food is too expensive in Japan. For on an average, 13.9% of their salary is spent on food, and it's just 4.9% of the salary is spent on food in USA. But the obesity rate of USA is 36.4%, and the obesity rate of Japan is a fall ball. 4.3%. The reason why I'm comparing these two countries but not others because other countries have higher obesity or lower obesity rate because of their economical condition or because of their malnutrition. More than 90% of the people can afford food to maintain their health in US and more than 85% of the people in Japan can afford food to maintain their health because It's just 11.4 percent the poverty rate in USA and 14.7 percent in Japan. That's the reason why I compare these two countries. In Japan, there is a place called Okinawa. It is a place where most of the old people are still alive. And in overall Japan, more than 8,000, 86,510 people who crossed their hundreds are still ever alive while you're watching this video. Before going to the next part. Please make sure that you have subscribed to this small and new channel because most of them skip subscribing uh, because of its low subscription count. So subscribe to this channel because it motivates me to do a lot of educational video about your health and fitness. And if you find this video interesting, like and share to your friends. And there is no force if you doesn't like it. Okay, let me move to the number three is physical activity. You know what? On an average, a person in Japan walks about seven to eight kilometers per day. Well, it's not because they are highly interested in physical activity. It is because most of the Japanese people are solely dependent upon public transport and bicycle. And government also promotes that rather than by their car. More than sixty-one percent of the students 
and 57% of the company workers solely depends upon public transport. But you forcing your parents to give their car or bike to your next birthday. Go to school by walk you stupid. Number 4. Organ meat. If you are a vegetarian, you can skip this part because it's completely about meat product. The more you love the flesh meat, the more you hate the organ meat. If it is true, comment below that how many of you hate the organ meat. You know what? Organ meat is a part of Japanese standard. As compared to flesh meat, organ meat is way more better and it is richer in vitamins and minerals. It can give some rare minerals like selenium. And organ meat is also rich in protein. Rather than organ meat, they also add fish in their diet. Of course, they are surrounded by the sea. Fish is one of the cheap sources that is available for them. By the way, fish is rich in omega 3 fatty acid, which is the best friend for your heart and brain. So, try to have it. Organ meat and fish in your diet at least once a week. And don't try to eat it raw as Japanese. Try to have it after cooking properly. Number 5. Fermented Foods Most of the Japanese people commonly eat fermented foods. And the names are like Miso, Soru, Tsukimomo, Nado, Umiboshi and Katsuboshi. Nani? Omae wa mou shinde iru. Well, eating fermented foods have a lot of health benefits. Like, it increases the number of beneficial bacteria like bifida bacteria or simply to say increases the probiotics in your gut and also this probiotic make a favor for your immune system and heart health yes it helps to get a get strong in immune system and it helps to maintain the heart health by decreasing the blood pressure cholesterol and inflammation so don't forget to add some natural in your diet and finally the number six is green tea i don't know who gonna get fascinated about the green tea because of its taste and at the same time i don't know how these japanese people are obsessed with this green tea. Maybe they have a special recipe for green tea to, be, to taste better. By the way, as I said before, snacking is too low in Japan because the fast food are too costly. It's like getting a two pane puri for 20 rupees. Is that satisfy your soul? No, right. Well, green tea is seen in every vending machine in Japan along with Coke and Pepsi. But most of the people tend to drink green tea because it is cheaper and it also has a lot of health benefits. Some of the health benefits are like it boosts up the metabolism which is helpful for your weight loss and it decreases the risk of some diseases, diabetes and cancer too. I do drink green tea but I doesn't like as much as Japanese do. Well, after watching this video, don't try to pack your bags and don't try to go to Japan. If you do, there will be a Big cultural shock that you can't sustain that. If you want to get blessed with good health, you have to do only three things. Number one, subscribe to this channel. Number two, watch the previous and upcoming videos of this channel. And number three, follow them that you have need. And once again, if you like this video, like this video below and share your opinion as comments and share it with your friends. Well, if you have any doubt, you can message me on Instagram and make sure to follow. I give the link in the description. Well, I see you in my next video. Until then, stay healthy, stay fit. <sighs> Finally, we're gonna watch some anime.